Ultra fast pony. And that was when I figured out Mexicans aren't even real. So you don't have to be afraid anymore, children. And it's all thanks to me, Filthy Rich. Filthy Rich, yeah. Greatest pony alive. Uh, okay, class, let's give a large round of applause for Mr. Filthy Rich and his talk on he equal rights, more like equal year rights. Okay, okay, so the next person to bring in a teacher for the day uh, is it's, it's Apple Bloom. Apple Bloom, can you bring in a teacher for next Monday, please? Uh, aren't you supposed to be our teacher? Oh, no, it's okay. I have a note excusing me from class. Well, Applejack and Big Mac are both busy that day, so there's no one I can really bring in. That's not true, sir. At least you can bring in Granny Smith. No, trust me, you don't want Granny Smith. Okay, then, Granny Smith it is. Have a nice weekend, chill. Children? Oh no! How am I going to get myself out of this one? Wait a minute! I've got it! Ah yes, well done, Appleby. Thanks, Twist! Friends. Oh, they're getting really fast at rebuilding the school. Yeah, I know. Sometimes I wonder what the point is. Skip it a dabba da lemon a bar, skip it up a dooba dabba da ball. Oh, you don't understand. Granny Smith is really mean. She made Big Mac cry. I reckon I could make Big Mac cry. And you'll never believe what she said this morning. Ah, hello, Apple Bloom. Feeling a bit sad, I heard. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like nothing I ever do matters. Why, well, Apple Bloom, that is absolutely not true. And anyone who tells you otherwise is completely wrong. You make a huge difference on this world. Oh, thanks, Granny Smith. Why, well, if it wasn't for you, your parents would never have committed suicide. Oh. You're also the reason Applejack drinks herself to sleep at night and Big Mac has horrible nightmares. Well, uh, that's a lot to take in. There, now that you know how useful you are, go and get me some bricks, duct tape, a hacksaw and some party balloons. There are some orphans I want to play a prank on. Baba doo ba da ba da 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 ba da ba And then this morning she peed on my bed. Oh. While I was in it. Oh. And then she told me that I did it. Oh. Even though I was awake when it happened. <laughs> Uh, I mean, um, uh, <laughs> oh, forget you guys! Applejack, you please have to help me! For the last time, no, I've got too many magic trees to deal with. These trees must have a lot of friends. What? No, that's stupid. Trees don't have friends. Why would you even say that? Well, isn't friendship magic? I don't know. Do you have friends? Yeah. Are you magic? No. Well, there you go then. Why do we even have these trees anyway? It's a short episode. We need to fill in the time somehow. Oh, is that true? Well, top of the morning to you, children. I'm going to be your teacher today. Wait a minute. This is already Monday. I thought we only just started the weekend. What happened? You tripped and fell down some stairs. Granny Smith, did you push me down the stairs? Today's going to be a bit of a history lesson for you. You did push me down the stairs! Apple Bloom, if you don't shut up, I'll tell everyone about that one time you wet your bed. Ah ha ha, so cracks me up. Sweetie Belle, you know that's not true! Shut up, it's story time. Back in the day, me and my family used to be a wandering troupe of gypsy performers. We would earn our keep selling medicinal herbs and eating babies. Bubba doo bubba doo Riding on unicycles. Anyway, one day we found ourselves in Cantalot, where we met Princess Celestia. She saw that we had no home, so she gave us the land next to the forest full of dangerous creatures willing to kill and eat us at any chance they could Take. I actually admired Celestia for making us own our keep. Much different from the ponies today who only seem to whine and complain without naming Apple Bloom's name. You flushed my goldfish down the toilet! So what? It was still alive! Only the strong can swim up river. The rest must be cursed out. Yeah, Apple Bloom, jeez. Shut up, Sweetie Belle! Zeba, scabba dabba dabba ba I liked the part where Granny Smith morphed into a Cyberanosaurus Rex and blew up the moon. What are you talking about? That never happened. Oh! Well, I haven't really been paying attention in school at all. By the way, were we supposed to be learning mathematics? Because I don't know how to count. Uh, that's a good point. I actually wonder what did happen with those. Damn it all, I wanted bananas. She's a killer, queen, got that agility, dynamite with a laser beam, guaranteed to blow your mind.